My first gigs, like, post-lockdown were not good gigs. Like, the first gig I did, I was in Blackpool, and I was put up in a hotel where I was immediately downgraded to a single room because the man in the room before me shit the bed. <laughs> He'd shit the bed. How do I know he shit the bed? Because the hotel told me that was the reason. <laughs> so I go into the hotel, and they were like, are you Ian Smith? You're not gonna believe this. <laughs> The guy in the room before you is shit the bed. It's like, I can't bring back the same enthusiasm to this story. <laughs> they said, they were very weird about it. They, they said, um, don't worry. <laughs> and I was worried at this point. <laughs> they said, we've got rid of the mattress and we've got rid of the bed sheets, but for the time being, and here comes a quote, you can still feel it in the room. <laughs> You can feel the shit in the room. <laughs> the shit is no longer there. You can feel its presence in the room like someone has done a seance for the shit. <laughs> I, um, I come from the, the north. I'm a northern man. I come from a town called Ghoul, which is just a stone's throw away from York if you throw that stone onto a one-hour train journey. <laughs> um, and that'll get you to Doncaster. You then have to get someone to sort of pick up the stone at Doncaster, <laughs> get that on a separate train, change that. It, that's another half hour, probably about two hours away in, in total. Um, easier to say Hull. It's very close to Hull. Um, it's not a well-known town. Like, I'll give you my favourite example of how few people have heard of it. If you Google ghoul, Google says, did you mean Google? <laughs> no, I didn't mean Google because of one key reason. I'm on Google. <laughs> I'm Googling stuff now. I'm not going to Google Google. I get the same website over and over again on a loop. <laughs> it gets worse for me, though. It gets personal for me because my uncle from Ghoul, he set up the website, ghoul.com, just to advertise the town to the world. Google saw that website and they took him to court because they thought a man had made up a bullshit northern town. <laughs> to convince all the people that cannot spell Google properly to use his website instead of the biggest search engine in the world. <laughs> all he's got to do to prove his innocence, you go into court, you're taking a map, you've beaten him. He did the best thing he can do in this situation. He didn't just go in with any old map, he waltzes in with the confidence of a man carrying a printout from Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> the, big, the big update in, in my life, um, I got engaged. That's my big news. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, we're expecting our first child. Yeah, yeah. In about five or six years, something like that. <laughs> Not something we're thinking about at the minute. But I found something out about my fiance recently that I, I thought was, was mad. So uh, she's the same age as me, and she's never heard of a Coke float. Coca-Cola, ice cream on top, you know what I'm talking about, a little drink-based dessert. She's never heard of one, never seen one, she has no idea of their existence. And I found that out in the best possible way. I found it out because she ordered one with a lasagna. <laughs> a Coke float and a lasagna. That's a mad meal. That's a heavy meal on the stomach, Coke float and a lasagna. I knew something was wrong because <laughs> she ordered it and the waitress said to her, what flavour ice cream do you want with that? And she went, what? <laughs> she didn't know if the waitress was talking about the Coke or the lasagna. <laughs> She's looking at me for some kind of verification and I was just like, I'm not giving you anything here. I want to see how this situation plays out. Because what, what I wish had happened, what I really wish had happened, is that she ordered it and there was no ice cream flavour options. She orders it, waitress just goes off, gets her a Coke float. Because if there's one thing I want to see, it is someone who has no idea what a Coke float is, get given one for the first time, and can I remind you, with a lasagna. <laughs> you see a Coke float for the first time, your first thought is not going to be, Oh, I see what I've done. <laughs> Float must mean put a dessert on top of my drink. <laughs> you won't think it's your fault at all. You're going to see that and think, how the hell has this mistake been made? <laughs> what has gone off in the kitchen for this shit to have happened? <laughs> We're like two orders overlapping, the chef's not listening or something. 
Coke. Just gone a glass of Coke for table six, one scoop of ice cream for table seven. The chef's just like, uh, so, uh, what? What was that last one? Ah, oh, shit, I'm just going to do what I heard. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm not feeling confident with this at all. Oh, gee, it's frothing. It's frothing. Are we happy with that? It's, gee, it looks like a Guinness. <laughs> just, just get it out of my sight. Still trying to nail this banoffee lasagna, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> We are, uh, we are happy I, as a couple. We've got big plans. We're going to get a dog. It's a big plan. We're very excited about that. We're going to call our dog, I wish I had a dog. Because <laughs> think about it. Then when it runs off in the park, I get to stand there and go, I wish I had a dog. I wish I had a dog. And when it turns up, everyone will be like, <laughs> what the hell is that guy capable of? <laughs> uh, thank you very much, guys. I'm Phineas Smith. See you later. <laughs>